Police are searching for the gunman who killed a transgender woman inside of her apartment over the weekend. Officials say her boyfriend is the one who found her inside her unlocked apartment. Now, activists are speaking out in the community. ABC 13's Brooke Taylor has more from Southwest Houston. Brooke? The police say that she lived alone and she wasn't found until hours after she was shot and killed. Now, this is at least the third transgender woman here locally that has been murdered. I have been talking to those activists who tell me they believe she was most likely targeted and knew her killer. A transgender woman murdered inside of her own apartment on Dunlap Street. Police say her boyfriend found her on Saturday night after she was shot several times. There were no signs anyone tried to break in. Majane Chambers, a trans woman herself, has become an advocate for the community since her friend Asia Foster, a transgender woman, was murdered in November of 2020. This is another trans individual, a trans woman that's, that's murdered shot. Foster was last heard from when she left home to go on a date. Her body then was found on the side of the road in southwest Houston after she was shot and killed. Police still have not caught her murderer. Please be careful. Please know who you're meeting. Please, even it, it, in my own opinion, it can be your own friends that'll be the same ones to put you in a bad predicament. In 2019, 22-year-old Tracy Williams, a transgender woman, was also shot and killed. Her body found on the Katy Freeway. Later, her boyfriend was charged with murder. Both Foster and Williams were part of the Montrose Grace Place, a nonprofit for youth that provides resources to the LGBTQ community. Both of them were, like, really vibrant and they were both activists in the community in their own way. Courtney Sellers, the executive director of the organization, hopes to raise awareness and shine light on the discrimination against the trans community. Transgender women who are of color, so especially black transgender women, are more likely to experience homelessness and also be more likely to be discriminated against by the homelessness system. So Texas is one of the deadliest places in the nation for trans women specifically, and so I think that's something that we that's really important to look at. And police have not identified that woman yet. A motive right now they are still unsure of. I have been talking with neighbors, though, in this area, and many of them not shocked that a murder would happen, telling me that shootings happen almost every single week here. We're live in Southwest Houston. I'm Brooke Taylor, ABC 13 Eyewitness News.